Hello, this is Mayra with Soso AC. Once again, we are going to make a small project that will take you about an hour. We will be using a hole puncher for leather, a plier to apply the eyelids, eyelids with um, a washer about one quarter of an inch or less, two rings about half an inch in size, we will be making these two tabs that we will thread through the rings in order to attach a chain with a lobster claw magnetic snap and some trimmings to hang from the eyelids make sure the test square measures 2 inches by 2 cut all your pieces, you will need 8 a very light fusible interfacing will be applied to six of the pieces. The other two, which will carry the magnetic snap, will use this thick um, interfacing. It is a sawable interfacing. I have chosen to, to sew in a very plain way, but you can follow the, the print of the, of the fabric if you want. Notice where I will be placing the snaps and the way it will be closing. I am making the holes with the use of my seam ripper. No bigger than the legs of, of the snap and I will push through this hole, bending the legs inside towards, to the, towards the center with the use of um, a screwdriver in this case I will protect the lining of the bag with a bit of fusible interfacing so the metal doesn't rub and with time makes a hole I'm attaching the other side of the snap pushing the leg through and placing the other washer that goes in the back lining it up so to make sure that the pockets will be able to fit inside. The next step will be to attach all the linings to the pieces and there will be four pieces in total. The same allowance for this, for this pattern is one quarter of an inch which is the same size of the width of the foot. So if you align the edge of the fabric with the foot you will make sure that you have a very straight uh, seam. This is important because those, the pieces need to align to each other. In order to create this bag, you need to be completely accurate. Make sure you leave a gap of two inches in order to turn your pieces inside out. I am using a walking foot. But if you don't have one, you can use a smooth or roller foot if your machine can handle thick fabrics. Mine does not, so that this is the reason why I'm using the walking foot. After you have sewn all the pieces, please trim the edges, the seam allowance, and clip the corners so they take a nice shape. Do not cut the fabric on that two inch gap. You will need the, the full amount of the, of the seam allowance to be able to turn it properly. Once you have shaped all the pieces, attach these two and three together. But before that, we will have to use, we will have to make the tabs. Draw two inches and divide them by four. Iron this strip uh, in the middle and then the other two sides, uh, the outer sides, fold them in so the edges are inside as I'm showing you here. The raw edge is in the middle and the outer edge is very smooth. This one you will sew at one eighth of an inch. You will pin it half an inch from the top. This is the way to do this type of bags and this technique you can use it in uh, 
an accordion type bag. Draw three quarters of an inch around the bag, in three sides, on the sides and at the bottom. This is what makes this is what it's going to keep pieces two and three together. Then you will pin piece number four to number three and number one to number two. Um, pin it, making sure that the shape is very, very nice and rounded, especially on the corners. I have spared the video for you because otherwise it makes it too long. I'm folding piece number two so I don't sew it when I'm at the sewing machine. One eighth of an inch, then I will sew another seam allowance just for decorative purposes and to make the bag stronger. Once you have top stitched all over the bag, it's time to mark the eyelids. I am using 3 eighths of an inch, but if you're using bigger ones, just space them out evenly. This is where the hole puncher for leather is very handy, however it's not necessary. I find it's a great investment if you are going to be making more than one bag. It really speeds the process and it's much better than using your seam ripper or scissors where you can make a bigger hole than you need. In here you, with using this leather puncher you can choose the size of the of the hole according to the size of the eyelids. I will be hanging leather strips that I've got 13 inches in length. Working towards the center each strip I have reduced the size by a quarter of an inch. You don't have to do the same, however, you can hang yarn, mm, chain, cord, anything that uh, you have available in your house. Here's the back from the, um, from the inside, from left to right, pieces one, two, three and four. This makes a great little gift and it's a great accessory. Wear it with a tunic. Also available in our website and it's a free pattern. This has been Maida for So, so Easy. Thank you for watching.